I'm not mistaken, this is expired. Come on! What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video today, ladies and gentlemen. Dude, I got a sweater on. I just got out of the gym. One sec. Much better, much better. But in today's video, we're taking on a hefty, hefty challenge. We're gonna be eating only gas station food for 24 hours. Y'all already know, my diet stays on the healthier side, and gas station food isn't much on the healthy side, so it's definitely gonna be a big challenge for me today, but it's gonna be freaking amazing. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna do it for each meal of the day, so breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Do you guys think it's gonna be really good or really gross? Because, not gonna lie, gas station food has upped their you know criteria, it used to be just like, I just want some chips, but now they got delis and all that good stuff. So I'm really, really pumped to go ahead and get this thing started. We just left the gym. It was freaking arms and I am starving. So let's go ahead and get breakfast. So the first stop is QT, it's quick trip. It's really popular in Texas. And guys, we're looking for actual breakfast items. I ain't trying to walk out with no steak sandwich. You know, like maybe like egg and cheese, you know, a croissant, some tea, something like that. Acting like I'm going to a cafe. Uh, but that's what we're on the hunt for for breakfast. So right off the bat, we're gonna head to the QT kitchen and see what they got for breakfast. As you can see, they got an egg and cheese croissant. So we're gonna go ahead and grab one of those. Croissant, is that how y'all say it? Croissant? But we're gonna go ahead and submit that order. Next, they've got some really, really tasty cheesy pepper jack taquitos. We're gonna go ahead and grab two of those. Those are pumping like 280 cals each. And then we're gonna finish with a buy coconut drink. All right, y'all, package secured. So we've got three things to eat and a coconut beverage. I got this because it's antioxidants, which is really, really good for you. So give it a try, guys. But let's go ahead and dig in deep. At first, I thought we were gonna end up buying candy for breakfast, but QT has a kitchen in there that makes food basically. And so for breakfast, this, I got an egg and cheese croissant. You guys rate it one out of 10. Looks pretty good. But $5, bro, $5 for this? That's like a dollar a bite. Cheers, cheers. But let's give it a try. I mean, not worth five bucks. Cause I look at that guys like, I could make this at home for a dollar fifty, you know what I mean? But I will admit, you can't lose with an egg and cheese. I'd say the croissant, I'd give it a low key, a solid nine out of 10. It was actually really, really good. The only thing I guess you could complain about the, the bread, the croissant wasn't as soft as I thought it was gonna be. It was a little like rock hard. So I give it at a nine, 10. Only reason it's not a 10 is because the bread was hard. All right, next guys, we got cheesy taquitos. Uh, basically taquitos, it's like a tortilla, right? With something in the middle. In this case, it's just cheese. Give it a check. I used to be a really, really big fan of these, but then they are really, really heavy in the calories. I think each one's like 280 calories. So this is a cheat day for sure. They've got all kinds. They got steak and cheese, they got chicken and cheese, they got a bunch of them. And it's even better when you throw in the salsa, guys. Gonna have to do a ton of cardio after this, man. But honestly, for a quick snack from the gas station, 
you can never go wrong with a taquito unless it's uncooked. Then you probably just don't want to eat it. <laughs> My heat. Whoa. No talking when you're eating, guys. My heat sensitivity, guys, is pretty low. Uh, like, I can barely handle, like, hot Cheetos and stuff like that. I just, it's just way too hot for me. So this is, like, this salsa, uh, that's probably the top I like to go for spiciness. So, those taquitos, like I said, you can never go wrong with them. They aren't, oh my gosh, bussin', but they're also, like, way better than whatever like a lot of things so i'd give the i'd give the taquitos an 8 out of 10 so the croissant egg sandwich is a 9 out of 10 because the bread was a little stiff and the taquitos guys i give it an 8 out of 10 so really breakfast nah i'd give it a roughly eight and a half overall i give breakfast eight and a half through nine out of ten it was pretty good for gas station food it's a lot different than my usual breakfast which is a cup of egg whites two full eggs and a cup of oatmeal so definitely all that cheese it's a different route for me so the total for breakfast was nine dollars and seventy cents what I usually spend on breakfast when I make it on my own is literally like a dollar two dollars uh, so nine dollars and seventy cents is definitely way more than my usual expense but that's what happens when you buy a five dollar croissant bro lactose intolerant sheesh I ain't playing when I say that lactose intolerant stuff. Like, you don't even gotta be lactose, but if you don't have cheese a lot, and you just, like, the first thing you eat in the day is cheese, bubbly guts, 10 out of 10, do not try it again. Like, I'm serious, guys. The bubbly guts is real when it comes to cheese the first thing in the morning. Now, don't get me wrong. I love me some cheese. But a whole pound of it? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's gonna be like that one white chick scene. But now it's lunchtime, so we have to find a good place to get some good food. Because, like I said, your boy just doesn't want to be eating a bunch of Jolly Ranchers and candy uh, for lunch. So let's see what we got in the area. So basically, guys, I'm where I live now in DFW. QT and Racetrack are probably one of the most common gas stations. But we've also got some Exxon, Valeros, 7-Elevens, and things like that. I mean, some Chevrons, but you know what I'm saying? Talk about eating just candy. So after extensive research let's go to racetrack and the only reason behind that y'all know them other gas stations be a little either a dub or a fail and i want this to be a dub so i hope this racetrack mm -mm -mm, i hope this racetrack has what we need for a good healthy good delish lunch for at least a tasty lunch all right ah i put on the calorie blinders for this video because like breakfast alone was like eight to nine hundred calories guys which is pretty crazy considering my breakfast usually is like 250 to 300 cows give or take uh, i am a great mathematician and i'm a philosopher anyways so let's go see what racetrack got bro i'm hungry bt dubs if i make this the next meal's on your girlfriend <laughs> looks like you pay him bro i was going to get some food don't mind this guys i've been Playing with my desk. Anyways, anyways. Ah! That summer heat got me like this. The racetrack and QT kind of have the same things when it comes to taquitos and hot dogs. Yo, 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 yo. You want some boiled peanuts though? Nah, I'm just playing. But decided to go with a peanut butter granola bar because those always be hitting. They had donuts, but I wasn't really feeling donuts or sugar at the time. They also had a bunch of sliders and sandwiches, but bread just was not the move. You know, the bubbly guts. They also had some fruit, but I got a ton of fruit at the crib. So decided to go with the blueberry granola yogurt because that looked scrumptious and another buy drink, this time cherry flavor. And I also grabbed another taquito just for the main course. Package secured. Now is it a like gray care package? Let's dig in and see. Let's dig in. So just to go over the things we've gotten. Guys, I wasn't joking. This meal was $10.58 for the four things that I got, bro. 
I kid you not, my, my, my chicken on the daily ranges from eight to $10 a day. This one thing was 10 buckaroonies, boy. We got another buy. May I? Bye? How would you guys say? I say bye. Uh, antioxidant infusion. This one is cherry this time. Boom. We have a blueberry and granola yogurt. Mix that up. These are always gas. Never a miss. And again, guys, while doing this challenge, I'd like to enjoy it, right? So that, we got a Lulu Pop. We got a peanut butter granola bar. And last but not least, basically we got this. It's like a... Monetary Jack, so let's dig into it, guys. Again, guys, this meal was 10 bucks. The, basically, the cheese stick alone is like uh, 200 calories. This one right here, 160, we're at 360. See with this, we're at 470, 480, and then whatever this is, 10, 15 calories. So guys, this meal alone is roughly 500 calories. Now let's dig in. So first, the giant. A little tough for me. I don't know how long exactly it's been on there, but from what I just bit into, I give it a solid four out of ten. Granola bar. I used to, during wrestling tournaments, guys. I would bang these in. I would eat these all the time. Granola bar, granola bar was good, but it's not one of those things that really hits the spot unless you genuinely love granola bars like that. So I give the granola bar a six out of 10. The Lulu Pop. This one's watermelon, guys. Three out of 10. The buy drink, 10 out of 10. These always be banging. Now the granola. Sometimes guys, you gotta smell these. Sometimes you got If I'm not mistaken, this is expired. Zero out of 10. Race track, come on! Lunch was a bust after my furiousness. Overall, I'd probably give this meal a three out of 10. Now I'm sure if you're a huge pizza lover, huge taquito lover, go for it. You might have a 10 out of 10. But for this one, I definitely put QT on top. Lunch from racetrack just did not hit, especially with my yogurt being expired. The best part of this meal was this drink. Whoop! Y'all think they'd give me a refund on that one? I mean, not this juice, but y'all think they'd give me a refund on everything else? Sheesh. Now, to be fair, guys, um, I don't eat pepperoni guys, so the pizza that was there, they only had pepperoni pizza right then and there, so that wasn't an option for me. So I did try to make the best out of it. All right, all right, got the perfect idea. What if, listen, listen, what if we go get a QT sandwich? Now, technically, I'm not breaking the rules of the challenge because it's still a gas station and they have their own kitchen. I've made a judicial call that that's allowed in this challenge. So we're gonna head right to the kitchen and click on lunch and dinner, and we're gonna go with a delicious wrap. Package secure. Now, like I said, we had to redeem it. A racetrack's lunch with a QT sandwich. So, we got a sandwich here, guys. The sandwich was about $6.50. So that means lunch in total comes up to about like 17-ish bucks, give or take, uh, because <clears throat> racetrack was about 10.60, and this one, the sandwich was about $6.50. Give or take. All right, just from the looks of it, uh, I guess it might've been a little much to wrap, but let's dig into it, guys. I 
I ain't gonna lie. I'd put this wrap, I'd put it up there with a Subway sandwich. I kid you not. to say that was a 10 out of 10. QT really knows how to put together a good wrap and if you have one by you go try it. I guess that raises lunch a couple points higher instead of a 3 out of 10. So racetrack, thank QT. If you've made it this far in the video I just want to say I really really appreciate you guys. Um, it genuinely genuinely means a lot to me uh, that you guys have even watched it this far because I put a lot of work and effort into these you know, videos because I do enjoy doing them. But like I said, if you have made it this far, thank you guys. I really, really appreciate it. Let's keep it going, boys. And if you're new here, guys, go ahead and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it, guys. I'm trying to hit 10 to billion subscribers. And also, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to say that, um, alhamdulillah, uh, it's a blessing that I'm able to do videos like this where I can just go and eat. So yeah, alhamdulillah, guys. Inserting a new challenge for dinner. So as you can see, I got this nice basketball hoop and we're gonna shoot a total of five shots. The amount that I make out of five is how much things I can get from the gas station. So if I make five shots, we get five delicious things and we're gonna fill up. If I don't make five shots, well, let's see. So I'm trying to make exactly five shots, so we'll see how good my aiming is. BT Dubs, guys, I was a wrestler, not a basketball player. The way we're gonna do this is a backward shot into the rim is an automatic five points, but every time I miss, obviously it takes one of the five shots. So there's two ways we can do it, either straight up, boom, or we can try to test our luck and go right backwards. Y'all know me, I'm a betting man, so let's get it. Shot number one. All right. This one we're gonna go forward with it, boom. All right, try number three. All right, that's two things on the list, guys. Now we're on try number four. Try number five. Let's go! Since we made three shots in the basketball hoop, we get three food items and one drink. That sounds like a pretty, pretty good deal! Pretty good deal! Because now it is dinner time and I am pumped. So y'all, QT is cool, 7-Eleven is cool, racetrack, all that's cool. But there's one gas station where you can genuinely have good food, and that's Bucky's. For the ones that don't know what Bucky's is, it's basically it's, it's really a Texas thing. So anybody out of Texas, come down to Texas and try Bucky's. It's basically like a humongous gas station that has everything literally from A to Z in the gas station. And remember guys, since we only made three shots, we only get to get three food items and one drink. So let's get in there. All right, so I'm gonna aim for three things, guys. Candy and a main course. Number one, secure. All right, y'all, so I just got three things. Got a burrito, some assorted sours, just really sour candy, Bucky's edition, and some banana pudding, guys. This is gas. So let's go ahead and rate everything. And again, guys, I highly recommend if you just stop by Texas, search up your nearest Bucky's and go visit it. Burrito. Burrito. Y'all already know, I'm gonna have to give it a 10 out of 10 because I do get it pretty frequently. So the burrito is a 10 out of 10. Sorted candies, you can smell the sourness right when opening the bag. Tastes like glory, guys. Assorted sours, I think it could be way more sour. Eight out of 10. Now we've got the banana pudding. Down the hatchet, mate. Tastes like grandma's recipe. A galaxy. 10 out of 10. Of I have to say guys, dinner, out of all the gas stations, obviously, 
is by far the best. Now, I will admit, guys, this thing's worth $10, this burrito. I would say five bucks tops, but again, probably cost five dollars to make it. And guys, the extra large drink, I think, was like $1.50, two bucks tops. Look at this thing. So, although it is delicious, you are gonna spend a lot more money than you will at Racetrack and QT. Uh, because these three, the burrito, the banana pudding, and the candy with two drinks cost me $20, which is wow, right? But then again, it's a pretty good size banana pudding. I would say this is one, two dollars. And then this is pretty good size uh, bag of candy, but four dollars for this, bro. Come on. So overall, I rate the entire Bucky's meal a nine out of ten, and I'm pretty sure that was right up there with QT. So QT and Bucky's neck and neck but Bucky's takes the win overall the best gas station by far out of all of these now y'all I would not recommend a gas station diet to anybody bro the calories are too high the fats are too high the saturated fats unsaturated fats the sodium not enough protein like sheesh guys cook at home save some money let me know which gas station of yours was a favorite throughout the video Again, mine was Bucky's. I think it was absolutely banging. The total of the entire challenge was right around 50 bucks, and that's no leftovers, guys. So 50 bucks, and you're still kind of hungry. So that's why I always say, definitely try to cook food at home. You'll save a bunch of money. But that is it for today's video. I really, really did hope you guys did enjoy the challenge. If you guys did enjoy the video, I would really, really appreciate a thumbs up if you haven't already. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and comment down below what you guys want to see next. See you guys in the next video. I will say though, like, okay, if you want to get a good or a full meal from gas station, fast food, whatever, bro, you're spending at least 10 bucks, right? At least 10 bucks. So anybody that's doing that daily, whew, you want to talk about spending. Like a lot of people, there's sometimes there's a debate guys where it's like, oh, eating out is cheaper. In some cases, right? It does make sense because like, let's say you go to a fast food place and get a bulk of something. Uh, they'll give you that. And when you split it up into meals, it'll be cheaper per meal, if that makes sense. If you're just buying one meal at a time every single time, 10, 15 bucks every single time, bro, it is, you'll save so much more money just literally like cooking your own food uh, or even paying somebody to cook your own food, like something like that. I think you'd still save a bunch of money. Like for me, for example, guys, right now I spend roughly, give or take 15 bucks, 15 to 20 bucks a day on the diet that I'm on. Now prep, it's a different, whole different situation. But for the diet I'm on, I'd say, 10 to 20 bucks a day uh, versus you're spending 10 to 20 bucks a meal multiple times a day, every day a week, <sighs> crazy. But for this video, we spend it.